In this video, I'm going to show you how to create different model states on this component using both the in place in inside inventor as well as the Excel spreadsheet method. Now, with this, you can see I've got a turbine impeller with 20 blades. Uh, what I'd like to do is I want to create a model state with, uh, with 15 blades and then maybe 25 blades. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and right click on the model states and select new. Um, once I've done that, I can go and rename this to 15 blades. Okay. Now, what you'll also notice is that there's a little blue pencil on the right hand side of here. It tells me that I'm currently editing this, um, this model state over here. So that's what I need to do, and then I can just go and change the number of blades. So if I go down to my blade pattern, right click edit, we'll go see that it's actually controlled by a user parameter. So I'm going to cancel this and go through to my parameters. <clears throat> go down to my user parameters, there's 20 and changes to 15. Okay, so there we go. So we've changed that to 15 over there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, if I wanted 25 and 30 is another two, I could go right click new model state, you know, change it to you know, 25 and then change it to 30 or change it to 10, but I'm going to do it through the Excel spreadsheet instead. So right click on my model state, go to edit via spreadsheet, and it opens up my Excel spreadsheet over here. <clears throat> okay, so now that I've got my Excel spreadsheet, I can see that I've got member and blade number. Okay, let's just move this over here. Okay, so what I also want is I want to just copy this over here and let's go make this 10 and make the bottom one 25. Okay, and then this will be 10 and the bottom one will be 25. Okay. Save and close. Okay. So now what it's going to do is going to add those additional uh, model states over here for me. And if I double click on the 10, you'll notice there that it goes down to 10. And for the 25 blades, it goes up to 25. Okay. So now let's take a look at another um, little thing we can do with this. So at the moment, what I've been doing is I've been only been I've only been um, modifying one at a time. So for instance, if I go and say, right in this over here, I want the blade chamfer, What I want to suppress this chamfer over here. So I suppress it, okay, so it's suppressed for the 10 blades. If I go to the 25 blades, it's not suppressed, so it comes back over there. So if I wanted to suppress it for all four, what do I do? So what I can do is I can just double click on the top over here, which means that now, because there's a blue pencil next to each one of them, I'm editing all four at once. And then I can go to my blade chamfer four and I can suppress this feature. So now that I've done that, just click on the top over here again. Now I'm only I'm editing the one. Let's go to the 10 blades. Let's see if the chamfer is still there. No, it's not. 15? No, it's not. Yeah. So there is a very, very quick and easy way to be able to um, either edit your, you know, each model state individually or through, you know, all, all model states at once over here as well. And as you can see as well, for me to go change it, just um, so, you know, sort of on a wide spread um, sort of field, I can go change it through the Excel spreadsheet over here as well and over here. Okay, and you'll see that, that the suppression wasn't on that Excel spreadsheet. It's then controlled from this uh, history tree over here. And that is all I have to show for you today. Thank you very much for watching.